You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. I am back. Rudrance for Black and White Sports. Well, we're going to talk about Pat McAfee because we got breaking news in here involving the Pat McAfee show. That's right, the show that is on YouTube. And, of course, the show that is one of the largest sports podcasts in all of the country, the Pat McAfee Show. It's a show I like a lot. It's a show that's very, uh, well, let's just say uh, it's not feeling like it would be something that would normally be associated with the mouse. And, look, I, I would be lying to say I'm, I'm not concerned about this. Uh, I understand it's Pat's show. He gets to do what he wants to do with it. But look, anytime you get in bed with the mouse in Disney, boy, I got to shake my head a little bit because it seems like it feels like I wish so many people would get away from ESPN. I know so many of our subscribers have abandoned them altogether. Uh, now, it is a world where Pat McAfee's show that's on YouTube may actually go on the network. I, I still don't know about this. I really don't. I'm very skeptical. Also, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Check out our podcast, wherever you get your podcast from. And let's jump right into this. New York Post, the Pat McAfee show is moving to ESPN in a multi-million dollar deal that he is expected to begin in the fall the Post has learned. In the process, McAfee appears as if he will walk away from his four-year, $120 million contract with FanDuel. It, it's unfathomable that he got something better than that, but I guess he did. And um, I don't know. That just seems so much like so much money, I can't even begin to fathom it. The amount ESPN will pay Pat McAfee is not fully known yet, but it is more than eight figures per year, according to sources. The move comes with Disney in the midst of layoffs that will see 7,000 jobs eliminated, including those at ESPN. McAfee 36 is expected to appear at Disney Upfronts on Tuesday afternoon, according to a source with knowledge of the situation. ESPN has declined comment. While McAfee is already a regular on College Game Day and does college football alt broadcast with Peyton Manning's Oklahoma produ uh, o Omaha Productions for ESPN, his YouTube show is more freewheeling, including saying the F word a lot. The Pat McAfee show that formerly included the fan deal seal in the upper corner had grown in popularity by streaming on YouTube. It's not, not out of the ordinary to see. I've seen 50,000 people watching on that show, which is a shit ton, just to be honest with you. It is expected to remain on YouTube in some form. Yikes. But one or two hours of it could be on ESPN, where the network would more likely be able to make math of McAfee's deal work. In other words... If they don't put it on the network, it doesn't justify their deal that they're giving him. ESPN executives had vowed to only do a deal if they thought it could make the money work for the company. When the Post reported last week that ESPN emerged as favorites for his services, McAfee said on his show that he is too dumb to change in response to some fans' concerns about Mickey Mouse sanitizing the language and the vibe of the McAfee show and his crew. Now, that does make me aware that they once hosted Dan Lebitard's show, and Lebitard's show was very loose, but they didn't do a lot of cursing on there because it was also on radio. I don't know if ESPN Radio is coming with this, if this is going to be a radio show as well now. I don't know. I don't know how they get this to work. If McAfee does have full control, it may indicate the Disney deal is some sort of licensing agreement. McAfee is expected to bring his crew with him. It includes former Pro Bowl linebacker A.J. Hawk and several of his longtime friends who are on-air presences for the program. I know Pac-Man Jones has been on there lately. 
McAfee has had a meteoric rise in sports media after walking away from millions as a pu- Pro Bowl punter for the Colts. In just seven years, McAfee has had found a lot of success, a lot of employers, beginning with Barstool Sports. He's had working relationships with ESPN, Fox, DAZN, Sirius XM, Westwood One, and his biggest deal with FanDuel. The apparent breakup with FanDuel has occurred in just the second year of a monster contract. McAfee said he wanted to take the burden of the behind-the-scenes work off of his plate. In other words, I guess he's wanting some of the production duties to move somewhere else. I guess that's understandable, but how much of your show do you lose doing that? With it being his own company, McAfee had to deal with all the business decisions. He and his wife just recently had a baby girl. The ESPN partnership should elevate that, alleviate that pressure. McAfee has been an insurgent sports media force using the levers of social media and YouTube to build an empire that resulted in the FanDuel deal. He is now on to the next big thing, a 43-year-old company that build, was billed as a worldwide leader in sports but wants to appeal to a younger generation. The move instantly becomes one of the biggest sports media stories of the year. Yeah, I mean, Pat McAfee's got an unbelievable reach now. I mean, he's sort of become the Joe Rogan of sports, to be quite honest with you. That's sort of where Pat McAfee's reach is now. He reaches an unbelievable amount of people every day with that show of his. By the way, he's also involved with the WWE. He showed up at WrestleMania. I think it was WrestleMania, if I remember correctly, and did a a pretty damn good swanton bomb off the top rope. Pat McAfee's kind of fearless. It kind of nuts. Hey, Pat, you're nuts, man. I mean, be careful out there, dude. You got a you got a baby girl now. Uh, so it's going to be interesting. My issue is I don't want to consume any ESPN products. And there's a lot of us like that that are that are going out of our way to not consume ESPN because of where they stand from a political standpoint and the fact that they're wrapped up with the demon themselves, Disney. I mean, that's it, it, this is, as a McAfee fan, this just kind of deflates, this deflates some of us, and, and, and Pat's got to realize there's a lot of people like us that just will not give Disney another dime, ever. Disney would literally have to sell before we would give them any more of our attention. That's just where we're at. I mean, really and truly. Um, man, I've got him in my podcast list. I listen all the time. It's a great show. Uh, will Aaron Rodgers, because Aaron Rodgers is still scheduled to do his weekly hit, to my knowledge, on Pat McAfee's show. Oh, my God. Immunized. We remember that drama. Are they going to have an issue with Pat? Are they going to try to squash Aaron Rodgers' voice on there because they let Aaron have at it? That's an interesting uh, situation as well now. Tell me what you think, black and white sports fans. Peace. I'm out. Till next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.